I've been assured that this is the best show Tucker has oh, ever run. Oh, fuck, no. <laughs> I mean, you said that right before the show went on there. It's true. This was a thing. You said it was a good show, and none of your other shows have been good. Oh, okay, okay, So okay. this is the best show Okay, you need, <laughs> you need to stop, sir. <laughs> uh, well, you've said such Welcome to Monday to Night tonight. Raw. Um, I just realized the disappointment of Super Smackdown Summer Sizzler Finna. Yeah. Finna. Don't worry. It, in the in the history, it is finals. Oh, is it? It's just yeah. Oh, weird. Um, There's not enough things there. We are in the Mizu, Mizu Arena. Uh, named um, after the Miz. Yes, named after uh, Mike. The Nature Boy. N- the Nature Boy, Mike Miz. What, what the? <laughs> uh, whatever. I'm not even in the right region. I don't care to go look up how many people are gonna be there. But um, yeah, let's do. Let's do. <laughs> let's do Raw. All right. Twenty thousand five hundred and fifty-two. Oh. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen. Loss. Ah shit. Shit. Can we restart? I had a bit planned. Um. Can you not just do the bit now? Okay, okay. One second, folks. Putty, stall. Okay. <clears throat> so this week on Super Smackdown s- s- Draft Show, we are going to be reeling from the fallout of SummerSlam. Let's remember that it was Sami Zayn's last, not last chance, but big chance to win the WWE Championship. And he lost through shenanigans. But Daniel Bryan, we know, doesn't like shenanigans. So will we have any response from Daniel Bryan on the next show? And what will go on? And Tommaso Ciampa's big revenge match with Johnny Gargano ended in a really disappointing un- un- conclusion. Where will that go? Also, we like haven't had a tag team championship defense in ages because Carl right, was off chasing the... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> as uh, as uh, Raw starts up, all we hear is... <laughs> That didn't start at the beginning. That didn't start at the beginning. <laughs> Fucking raw, folks. I like to think that actually happens, and all of a sudden, like, the music quickly <laughs> stops, and you just see, like, we cut to the announce table, and Joey Styles is like, oh, shit. <laughs> As I was saying, we start off raw, and, uh, you know, we pan the crowd, blah, 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 and then uh, all we hear is... I guess we should talk over it a little. Just get to the good part. Come on. Get to the good part. Come on. Come on. Good enough. Oh my god, it kept playing. Lost. Okay, I paused it and it kept playing. I was like, oh no. Uh, oh, America. So yes, folks, Tetsuya Naito, Cesaro, and La Sombra make their way to the ring. They're here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> um, Naito and La Sombra uh, are in the main event tonight. And, uh, Against each other? Fr- yes. Friction, bro. Frick- We're gonna friction bump already. Up salaries on the locker room <laughs> yes. door, bro. Yes. And Naito and La Sombra are very happy, bro. Because Naito's getting paid far more, bro. And uh, as, friends in wrestling, bro. And uh, as they uh, as, as they go looking fine, you know, we get the uh, Naito saying, Cesaro, La Sombra, Naito, Los. Bush- B- Bushi, oh. Bushi, like flies, <laughs> he, like, flies to the camera. Like, what the fuck is that thing? We well, get little Bushi, the, the, ah, the boy in the crowd. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Los Ingobernables de America. I, I sounded like the chick on Lucha Underground who just pronounces everything like Mil Muertes. <laughs> it's like, hey, yeah. She's, she's- she is a highlight of the show because she's actually one of the most compelling characters on it. <laughs> her with her, uh, like, like I think it's on. I think it's the best level of announcer, you know, ways of speaking, you know, voice pattern. Like it, it rivals the WCW like <laughs> guy. You know what I mean? Where it's like I can't remember her name now. I think it might be Carlene or something, but she yeah. does evolve, and she's oh, my she? favorite. Just 
just because she does Zack Saber Jr. in the best way. She like calls him Seba Junior. <laughs> it's pretty great. And yeah, well, well, folks, welcome to Raw after that weird stuff. Gerald Kyle shows up and Kevin Owens beats him with a fucking swanton bomb. <laughs> you see, Kevin Owens is aware of wrestling Twitter. You see? Yeah, he uh, first of all he he replied to Frey. Oh shit! And then somebody in wrestling Twitter tweeted out that Kevin Owens like talking about the headlocks thing. How yeah? How bad Kevin Owens has been recently at pro wrestling? And then Kevin Owens just like a couple of minutes later tweeted, "I love headlocks." <laughs> <laughs> Well, th- there you go. And uh, we actually have Kev with the mic, and he says, you know, Cesaro, you may have beaten me last night. The mic, the Reich. What? Y- yes, the it Mike is the Mike the Reich. <laughs> he, grabs, he grabs the Nazi, and he says, he grabs <laughs> El Nazi, and he says, he speaks right into El Nazi, and he says, Cesaro, you know, last night, you may have beaten me. You may have been the better man on that night, but I know, I know, you give me a rematch next week. For that title. I'm cashing in my claws, brother. Br- brother, he's Hulk Hogan now. Next brother, week, Jack. Cesaro, Kevin Owens, one more time for that world championship. I'm going to win that back, and I'm going to go to Insurrection. As the champion, I'm going to face Neville in his own home country. At the end of the day, it will be, it will be I? Is that, That's not something Kevin Steen would say. It will be I, Kevin Steen. Standing. The Antichrist of yeah. professional wrestling. Standing with the World Heavyweight Championship. As uh, and as Owens leaves the ring, the crowd chants, uh, fight Owens fight. Is that, is that the thing here? I was going to say kill, kill Owens kill, and I'm like, they don't, they don't chant that, do they? Well, you had a good run out, though. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the crowd chants fight Owens fight as their hero leaves. The the hero of Raw. So Stephanie says that Vince isn't here because Vince is going through some intense emotional drama. Cesaro is the champion. He couldn't have this, so he just refuses to come to TV as long as Cesaro's champion. Um, I like it. Uh, yeah, he's having emotional. He's emotionally distraught that he has failed and he's no longer on TV. He has bought a ticket. He's in MSG for tomorrow. <laughs> he's just done like the rest. Yeah, of he's just like no, no, not doing that. I'm, I'm going. He's like, who's who's the champion on the other brand? Oh, oh, who the what the fuck? AJ Styles, Marks, Smarks everywhere. He's like, no. God damn it! Didn't he work for that other company? ROH. <laughs> There you go. There you go. You said I was like I was like a little bit little bit of a dead joke. The ROH brought it back. I like it. Yeah, I'm glad for that. I appreciate that. I thought it was also dying. I was like I was ooh. worried I wouldn't be able to bring that back. I know. I was like ooh. Uh, Dolph Ziggler beats up an old man and hits him with a super kick. <laughs> Is it a Japanese old man? Yeah. Uh, and oh, shit, so- you need to do the Dolph Ziggler Minoru Suzuki feud. Man. <laughs> so I think we even have so Dolph Suzuki. Ziggler says you know that uh, you know. It, it, it's his time. It's Dolph Ziggler's time. And his dick fell off. Yes, and his dick fell off. <laughs> and he's 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 coming out here, and he's gonna he's gonna climb. He's gonna win the world title. He's this new Dolph Ziggler's better than any other Dolph Ziggler there ever was. This new Dolph Ziggler's Lord. focused, slightly racist, and he's better. He's better. And then Ricochet just comes and says, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Like who? Ziggler, you know, you want to go on out here. You want to talk about how you're you're new, you're you're different. Like the only thing I see different than you and past Dolph Ziggler is the fact that, well, you said it yourself. You're no, you're not even slightly right. You're totally racist. What the hell is wrong with you? And Dolph Ziggler says, "Oh, you're one to talk." Muchacho, why don't you take your little lucha libre sombrero ass back to where you came from? And Ricochet's Does like Dolph Ziggler stare at Ricochet and say, "You're one of the reasons why we need to build the wall." Yes, and Ricochet just says, "I'm from Chicago." Yeah, yeah Ricochet's like, "Go back to <laughs> Chicago." <I'm> like what? <laughs> Detentions on Rafa. Steve Austin. Steve Austin says, Vinny, "Vinny, I know you ain't here, but Vinny, I'm not gonna stop. All right." Vinny, I beat your boy, Seth Rollins, in the middle of the ring. One, two, three. And Vinny, uh, right the crowd, now. The crowd are pissed. I am demanding 
a world championship match. Good old Vincent Kennedy McMahon. And if I don't get one, I'm going to get one anyway. Because Stone Cold <laughs> said so. <laughs> and the crowd erupts. Except for, like, the, the smart section. The small smart section. Yeah. They're like, boo, Stone Cold. We bought it wrestling and promos. We don't like him. Bring back Seth Rollins. Bring back Seth Rollins. <laughs> He's good at all those things, apparently. <laughs> Everybody loves Seth Rollins. That's why when Seth Rollins was champion, there were 2 million Raw viewers. And now that he's not, there are 14 million Raw viewers. <laughs> totally related. <laughs> totally. Totally. <laughs> Jay Briscoe's debuting. It's Pedro Alvarez. Yeah, and Jay Briscoe gives that man a Jay Driller straight to hell, breaks his neck, and we're like, holy shit. Um, Jay Briscoe's here on Raw, folks. Uh, yeah, boy, is he here permanently, or is he is this just he's, like He's here a, permanently. We, we've signed him to a shit. Raw contract. Yeah, he's the Jay the Driller is here. The hottest, the hottest free agent whose name is Briscoe. <laughs> This is true. Agree. Although, I don't know. That uh, Jack Briscoe is still doing fine. Yes. Um, it, we see we see the uh, the Brotherhood boys oh. backstage saying that they're going to be watching Night's Main Event very closely between Tetsuya Naito, La Sombra, Los Ingobernables de America, and the Young Bucks. I think. Don't quote me on that. Okay, product in the corner just says product may not resemble final <laughs> product. Advertise ad, product advertised may not resemble actual product. All right, sh- shut up. All right, I'm not. I'm not. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, Neville has an interview hyping up his match with his upcoming match with Cesaro, and he says, "You know, Cesaro, I don't care whether or not it's you or whether it's Owens. To be totally honest, I'm going in there. I'm going to win the title in front of my people. They will cheer me. Yes." Cool, Finbar. <laughs> yep. The Ascension defeat Elmer Allen and Gaston Levevre. <laughs> I like how I tried to say it with an accent and ended up saying I was like, Levevre. <laughs> there has not been a single match so far on this show between two people who are permanently signed to this brand. <laughs> exactly. And uh, they hit him with a fallen man. Still the champ, baby. Well, well, holy shit. Look, look at that rating. Look at that fucking rating. Right? Uh, How good am I? Yeah. <laughs> Tyler Breeze is still the champion, folks. And Tyler Breeze says there ain't no competition left. He's United States champion. He beat Nakamura. He beat... The violence hit. No, no. Okay. He beat... Rusev? Was it Rusev? Rusev? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, high energy hits. And what the fuck? <laughs> Go Ace! No, I'm kidding. There, there, is, there is no, no Tana. I'm sorry, folks. Worked. Oh. Worked. The Bullet Club theme hits the... Oh, it's, nice. <laughs> it's the Miz. <laughs> and the Miz says, Neville, fuck you. You took my title shot. You took my wife. You took my kid. <laughs> Who's your poppy? <laughs> I, I am. I am. I have, Battle for the custody of, of the Miz's unborn yeah. son. In yes. The, the Miz says he's, he's realized, you know, that he needs to go back to his roots as the chick magnet. No, he says he needs to go back to his old ways, the ways that he used to win. He needs to maybe bend a rule or two occasionally. Oh, shit. He was playing it by the book before. He was. Holy shit. Look at that. Random fucking match. Kalisto over Chris Jericho because fuck you, Chris Jericho. I like it. Yeah. That's the attitude I expect. I'm the joy. Yeah. The, 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 the club boys are like... Balor's like tonight, what? eh? I've got the club boys. Tonight, eh? My, my boys, they're gonna beat your boys, Anto. And when I get done... Why is he from London now? Because it's how I do all my accents now. Yeah. You know where the fucking diamond went, don't you? Um... <laughs> Thank you, folks. Thank you. Um, yeah, and he just types up in the main event tonight. Tetsuya Naito and La Sombra are taking on the Young Bucks, so I was right. Um, 
Rusev, Rusev and Lana cut a promo. Lana says Rusev is ready to once again regain his United States Championship, and he's going to continue to climb and becoming. He already is, so like he's going to continue his legacy as the greatest United States Champion in the history of the WWE because he's the super athlete. And Rusev goes, rah, 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 and it's like, yeah. 20 bucks says the main event just happens, and it's like, um, Carl Deal and Apollo Crews defeat these guys. Yeah, I know those guys. That's the, the hottest young tag team in AWA right now. Yeah, Roddy Piper's son and Arnold. <laughs> Seth Rollins cuts a promo. And we, the most people boo him. We have that one section. It's like, Seth, we love you. And Seth is like, fuck you too. Um, Seth says, you know, things things maybe aren't going as, as well as he really thought. You know, he's like, next week maybe, he's going to think some things over. And next week he might have an announcement for the people. He... Uh-oh. Like, like getting beaten by a 50-year-old, near 60-year-old, does does something to a man. Does something to a man who was just world champion not even, like, a few months ago. <laughs> I do like how we're, like, over an hour into the show, and the draft tomorrow has not been mentioned once by anybody on this roster. <laughs> oh, dude, what draft? <laughs> <laughs> you know the draft tomorrow, right? <laughs> what draft? Uh, There's tons and, of draft tomorrow. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Rollins says that... Um, it's just gonna be how the wind blows, you know. How he how he's feeling, because he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna search himself. He's gonna do some crossfit. You know? He's gonna do some crossfit shit. He's gonna get all those smarks in the front row a little bit wet, and then he's gonna he's redesign, gonna, rebuild, reclaim, or just retire. <gasps> that that no. worked perfectly. That worked perfectly. No. Way to be. Way to be funny. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> uh, Joey Styles. I don't know what the fuck this. Joey Styles is like the draft, I guess this was. I don't. This was definitely not why he was out here. But I'm gonna say he's, he's not talking. out anywhere. He's back. He's gone backstage. He's gone unless backstage. It's like, unless it's like ECW and he does his comms from like a backstage area that overlooks the ring. <laughs> Joey Styles talks about something. I don't know what the hell it was. All right, don't ask me. Main event probably. I'm guessing. Yay! Uh, so the Young Bucks drew with Los Ingobernables de America when the match descended into chaos after Cesaro and Finn Balor became involved. And to end out the show, uh, just the, the, the six men stare each other down. The, 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 the... Balor's got a machine gun. <laughs> yeah, like Balor's, Balor just pulls out a handgun and Cesaro's like, oh <laughs> shit. And so, you know, they're, they're staring at each other down. The crowd's like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Balor, and then the real Americans theme hits Balor, and Jack Swagger arrives. Balor shoots the handgun. Cesaro <laughs> blocks it with his belt. He's like, bang! And it like ticks off and it shoots a nearby smark in the crowd. That, that's for you, putty's son. Um... <laughs> And then the Young Bucks hit La Sombra with a double super kick. And then Naito clotheslines one of the early Bucks. Onset Alzheimer's. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And then Cesaro does the uppercut. Balor goes for a coup de gras on La Sombra. La Sombra moves. La Sombra drop kicks Finn Balor. And then Cesaro does a spinning European uppercut. But misses, accidentally hits Naito. But then Naito no sales, gets right back up and drops the Jackson brother with the Destino. And it's like, holy fuck, folks. And then we go off air. While well, Naito is, like, lying in the middle of the ring, giving zero shits. Yep. I used La Sombra far too much. <laughs> Thank you, folks. We will see you next Put week. There's absolutely nothing happening important on SmackDown at all, ever. It doesn't drop. Nope.